Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about horror books and my opinion about them. And my opinion about horror books is they don't scare me. Not not one bit. You, not as much as horror movies do. But with horror books, usually you have to like, you read it and you have to um, imagine the setting, what's going on, and who's getting killed or whatnot, but not all horror books have like murder, mystery, or anything like that. Horror books, some horror books are different than others. It's just horror books are not the same as horror movies, which is obvious, but they don't scare me as much as horror movies. Horror movies, they just um, have everything you can, like you can see it without imagining it because it's a movie, not a book, but still get to see it, see all the creepy characters, and most of the horror movies have jump scares, and that's what freaks me out the most. Loud music, characters coming up right at you like it's a 3D movie ready to, like, kill you or something. But horror books, they're different. And I'm going to take this book, The Mist, for an example. I have two books. Um, the Sun Dog by Stephen King and The Mist by Stephen King. And these are the only horror books I've read. I can only imagine... If, uh, if there was, like, such a book that would, like, jump scare you, if you read a horror book and it just jump scares the freaking crap out of you, just imagine, I can imagine my grandma, my mom's mom, reading a book like this, and she starts reading it, and she was reading it in her room, she just gets so, uh, to a point where she just gets all, like, Ugh! like, like, reading a book like that, <laughs> imagine if she got jump scared like that. And her boyfriend came running like, what's wrong? What's wrong? Are you okay? And she just starts reading. She's like, oh my gosh, this book is so scary. It just made me jump. When there's like no pictures or anything. Oh man, that would be so funny if that actually happened. I would be dying of laughter. You know what would be really cool? If horror books, if some people made a, a pop-up horror book, you know those children's books where they have like pop-ups and stuff like that imagine if they did the same thing with horror books kind of like the babadook the horror movie the babadook where they have like a children's horror book and stuff like that imagine if excuse me imagine if they created something like that if some authors like stephen king created like a horror pop-up book that can actually jump scare you that would be really really interesting to see and I wouldn't mind reading it and to be honest the horror genre of books they're not my favorite even though I've only read two and the two books I've read that I showed you guys were are basically the same author Stephen King because he's the only horror genre author that I know that I've read so far and usually his books are a lot bigger than this this is like 170 something pages, but I've seen some of his books at Walmart and Amazon and they're like 600, nearly a thousand pages. Like, whew, that'll take me a while to read, but to be honest, horror, horror books are just not, not as good. There'll be a time in the future where I'll talk about uh, my most favorite book genre of all time and my least favorite book genre of all time. Those two videos will be coming up very soon. Stay tuned for that. So I think that's all I have to say about horror books and horror movies and what I think about both of them in comparison. Now, if you're a fan of horror books, good for you. It's just they're not my kind of cup of tea. I prefer, well, whatever I prefer. I'm not going to mention um, a book genre that I prefer because that's in a different video and I'll explain that some other time in the future. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!